We will now consider Newton's mountain. In Newton's mountain, a thought experiment, Newton thought about putting a cannon on top of a very tall mountain and firing a cannonball. He said if the cannonball was launched at some initial velocity that was below a critical velocity, what would happen is a cannonball would simply crash to earth, fired a little bit faster, and it would go a little bit further. But if you could get the velocity just right, what would happen is a cannonball would orbit the earth. Because the curvature of the earth would cause the earth to fall away at the same rate that the cannonball would fall toward the earth, it would go around and around and around, always falling, but never falling down. Using Newton's law of universal gravitation, which says that the gravitational constant multiplied by the mass of the earth times the mass of the object over r squared gives us the force of gravity, and assuming uniform circular motion, which tells us that the mass of the object multiplied by its speed squared over r if we consider that these two are going to be equal to each other and that it is the force of gravity causing the circular motion, we see that we have g mass of the earth mass of the object over r squared equals mass of the object multiplied by the speed squared over r, which simplifies down, and we can now deal with any object that's in orbit, whether that happens to be a satellite in a low earth orbit in a period of about 90 minutes, a geosynchronous or geostationary satellite, which is a little bit further away and has a period of about one day, or even the moon itself, which of course is further away again and has a period of about 28 days.